Hi everybody, hope you're well. Sorry that there's not been a uh, update for a few weeks. There's various issues still ongoing, but back here now for the latest one. Uh, in the last instalment, we built the runner wagon for the crane. As you can see, a, a detail painted up one here. This is what supports the jib when it's traveling to work sites. Uh, today I'm going to put that to one side and I'm going to make the make a start on building the crane body the bit with the cab and the uh, jib struts and the jib. Um, so we'll make a start on that now. Um, again, this is laser cut uh, plastic card, one mil plastic card. Um, there is a bit of deburring to to do. Just take it off with a emery board, nail file. Get from your local pound shop. Obviously, do this to make sure we've got a nice smooth um, base to to build from. Um, what I'll start with this is the back of the cab. Again, all laser cut components, so it should be quite accurate. There we go. And that bit, I'm going to put the uh, sanded side on the inside of the model, so that any roughness that appears isn't visible on the finished model. A um, couple of drops of super glue on the rear of the wagon. Or the rear of the base, should I say, and sit that on there, making sure that it's nice and square and level. I'm quite happy with that, just hold it in place for a few seconds. Oh. It would help if I got it the right way round, actually. Sorry, turning it round, get it on the right end, make sure it's square and level, hold it for a few seconds. Yep, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. A little bit of adjustment, there we go. Now, now you, you'll see it might be starting to fall slightly. I'm not too worried because when I start putting the cab sides on, they'll support that and hold it up. There we go, get rid of any roughness. And this is a cab side. So again, a little bit of glue just where the, the piece of plastic is going to sit and we'll put some down the edge so it can be supported by the back piece I've just put on and slot that on nice and carefully there we go nice and flush there we go I'm quite happy with that again there might be a small amount of filing or adjustment needed but it's not too bad and just let that dry for a second so same with the other side, deburr, probably get bored of this repetitive bit of the job soon. And again, um, this one is going to be the opposite way around because of the way the detail is shown. I don't know if you can see, but on the um, plastic card I've etched a door. Uh, you can see the, see the outline of it there hopefully. Um, and that just gives the impression that there's added detail that doesn't need to be cut on there. So again, I'll just slot that in place and hold it for a few seconds while it dries. Try not to let your finger stick to the uh, to the super glue. And now, as you can see, it comes together quite quickly. It's not a massively big job as long as you fairly careful with accuracy and getting all the corners tight and tidy. There we go. So this one is going to is the cab front. You can see it's got a window cut out. Um, what I'll probably do at another point because I'm not going to glaze the window. Well, I'm not going to put a roof on the windows yet. I'm going to glaze them at some point. Um, you can just use a piece of uh, clear plastic, like the sort you get at the supermarket, you get pastries and cakes and things in, that's all I use, just clear plastic. There we go, just hold it on. Now this is the one I'm going to need to hold in position for a few seconds. Put a bit of extra glue in. Hopefully it should show. There we go. 
You can also decorate this, um, put in a couple of model figures in it to make it look like there's um, members of the crew working the crane. Um, maybe you could put a little control desk in there, something like that. It's entirely your call. I've chosen not to, but it could be something that I might do. I don't tend to glue the the, the roofs on until the very end, until I've decided what I'm going to do with the insides of the uh, of the model. Next up is the jib um, bracing uh, supports. They are going to be glued in front of the window, thus. But firstly, I need to just make sure that I put them the width of my window apart, uh, width of my jib apart. Sorry. So, obviously, if you put them too close together, the jib won't fit, which is going to be somewhat problematic. So, this one here is in about the right place, so I'll just put some, some glue down. Again, before the glue sets, make sure it's square and true. And again, hold it. You'll notice there's a small hole. That is for a screw or a bolt to go through, through the chassis of the wagon, so that the uh, crane can rotate, just like that one there. Uh, they will rotate, and that's that's what that hole is for, if anybody's wondering. So, let's work out where I need to put this one. You can see I'm going to leave it slightly wider than the jib. That's just to take into account any other plastic card that needs to be fitted. So I'm quite happy with that where that is. Let's check. Move it in a little bit actually. And then again some some glue. Just one final check. Yep, I've got a bit of Bit of play in there, which is what I want. And I'll put a dribble of glue down the back of this support so it glues it to the cab front. There you go, and that's set already. So here you can see um, pieces of the jib. Now, this is quite a difficult part to put together because you've got to hold the plastic card into the shape of the jib and obviously you can see it's quite a sharp bend there so this is one of the more challenging um, parts of making the, the crane there we go um, you'll notice that these two sections are slightly different there's a top and a bottom section to the jib uh, this is the top and this is the bottom um, the bottom will go in. Yep, yeah. that's all right. Just getting forgetful. As you can see, like this, I need about 14 pairs of hands to make this work, but I'll do my best for the video today. So, apply some glue to the Base of the jib of the jib side, and then you just need to. This really is just taking your time and making because there's a lot of springiness still in the plastic, which obviously wants to pop out. And that seems to have stuck quite well. Just finish it off there. hopefully that should make it easier to stick on this side so I'll put some glue on this side of the jib and like I say hopefully this side should be a little easier now that we've got the first side formed this is where I'll glue my fingers to yeah, to the model as I'm showing right, again 
Just wait for it to hold. I'm hopeful. Yeah, there we go. That's that's actually gone a lot easier than I thought it would. So we'll put some glue for the back of the jib. There we go. I told you I'd get my fingers stuck. And now this end. Sorry, let me get it the right way around. Uh, hopefully, it'll be just as easy this time around. Can my luck go that far? Let's try. Well, it's stuck there. Or not. Right, so that's hopefully going to stick there. Now, the reason it wants to uh, see, there you go, that glue's not quite stuck yet. There's a lot of tension in that where the plastic card wants to spring away. You just have to be patient. Let's try and uh, put some glue on. See if we can get the jib to. There we go. Excellent. That's. I'm quite impressed with that. That's gone on a lot easier and better than I thought it would. So I'll just get glue down the jib. And hold it. Now, you could use something like a closed peg to hold this if you've not got the patience to do it, or a bulldog clip, something like that. Uh, or you can buy specialist clamps, at, even at the pound shop or Wilco's, they do little clamps for crafting things like that. Um, I've got a set of them in my drawers, but whatever you feel, whatever's best for you. And there, hopefully. We have the jib, and that will sit like that. Um, it doesn't. The crane doesn't operate so that it can be lifted up, but it can be posed like this one. It can be posed in the air like that, but you can't lift anything with this model. But that it should be enough to have it posed, um, and it'll sit on a wagon like that. Um, that is enough for today's instalment. But next time, I will build another wagon and mount the body on it. Um, I shall start detailing it with chains and hooks and pulleys and things um, and then we should be getting towards the end of this build like I say it's not a big massive project it's not a lot of uh, time spent on doing it it goes together fairly quickly um, but I'm looking forward to getting it finished and then obviously we're going to give it to one of you guys as a prize when we have another draw um, but yeah that's all for today so don't forget to follow us give us a like on our Facebook page Follow us on our website um, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.